If you're looking for antique furniture, maybe some rare china sets, I'm always on the hunt for that kind of stuff. Well, you could be in luck. There could be a real deal out there, and it's all thanks to millennials and Gen Xers. Yeah, 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you how changing tastes and lifestyles are leaving some Bay Area thrift stores and some resellers with some pretty cool finds. Places like the Goodwill store in St. Petersburg are drowning in dressers packed with place settings and up to their armpits with armoires. Furniture donations and sales soaring almost 20% over this time last year. I think there's an increasing trend, definitely, and, and we're seeing more of those nice pieces. The whole industry is seeing the same thing as millennials and Gen Xers say no thanks to family heirlooms that had been passed along through generations. No room or need for big dining tables, dressers, or serving sets. Some people are going for the more minimalist view, the more min minimalist lifestyle. Yes. yes. That's exactly what we found with Isabel Miller and her daughter Marlo shopping for a new table. If I had a dining room table and chairs and I wanted to hand it down, kids are not looking at the value of that necessarily. It's what fits into their life today. Yeah, it's all about look, I guess, and if it fits in the apartment well and stuff. The good news, says Goodwill, is that this trend enables some people out there to now purchase furniture they might not have otherwise been able to afford. And that money? is then put to good use. It's just totally changed. Jose Lozano, who owns Done Deal Estate Sales in South Tampa, is part of a booming industry created by the same trend. The IKEA generation, as he calls it, far less keen on keepsakes, hires companies like his to just sell everything. They basically hand us the keys, sign the contract, and say, let me know when you're done. Some downsizing baby boomers are putting their stuff in storage, hoping eventually the kids or grandkids will want it. But in the meantime, more furniture and other items once handed down are ending up here. In St. Petersburg, Eric Glasser, 10 News. Lozano says the same trend is also hurting the antique furniture business. He says millennials typically want less expensive, smaller, and more functional furniture. Doesn't this always go in cycles? It does. You know, maybe I mean, they're not interested does. now, but the next generation might yeah. want it. I'm going to go shopping See, now. There you one, go. She I doesn't know. pass up anything. I like to keep the well. No, Nothing. I like to keep no. the good stuff. You no, know? I like, know, but I mean, but, if my grandmother gave me something, I'm not going to just take it right. to a shop and give oh, it away you're to you. Keep it. Back rat. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs>